Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations, Indian Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and we'll get into our video in just a second, but first a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for our YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all the publishers, publicists, authors, illustrators, merchandisers, manufacturer representatives, and others that we come in contact with via these blogs and these YouTube channels. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Jesus Christ, Yeshua's most holy and most precious name that we pray by the power of his blood. Amen. The Herbal Medicine Cookbook, Everyday Recipes to Boost Your Health. It's by Susan Hess and Tina Sams. And this book right here is very wonderful. It's very well written. It uh, is a full course in herbal medicine cooking about how to make your food be your medicine your medicine be your food um, I think Hippocrates is the one that uh, talked about that uh, probably not even right on pronouncing his name but anyway he uh, talked about making your food be your medicine and that's what this is all about now it makes the takes like Chinese medicine the Chinese herbal medicine it makes it easier to understand it gives you uh, an equipment list of what you need to actually start out working with the herbal cooking to actually give you some ideas about different recipes. There's a lot of different recipes in here about how these different herbs can help you, what the different herbs are used for, about how to cure different uh, ailments you may have. You've got excess mucus, you've got um, temperatures going on or what have you. It talks about how to help you heal. Now, too often in uh, modern medicine, the only tool that the doctors have in their toolbox is to give you a chemical medicine. Well, if you could make yourself healthier by eating properly and avoiding some of those medicines, you'd be much better off. Now, I'm not telling you don't go see your doctor or whatever, but I'm telling you that following along with a book like this can help you to combat the different symptoms, the different problems that you might be having. Obviously, you need to consult your uh, medical care provider, your nutritionist, or whatever. But with something like this, it will help you to fight off colds. It will help you to fight off infections. It will help you to really avoid a lot of the different health problems that uh, you have from day to day. It is very well written. It's got quite a few color pictures in here. It's got uh, a list of the different herbs and what they're good for. It's got a list of um, really how to handle the herbs. It tells you at the beginning pretty much how to deal with obtaining herbs, what, uh, what's good, what's bad, um, how you should store them, and all of that. So if you are looking to feel a lot better, if you want to take control of your health, then a book like the Herbal Medicine Cookbook is just right for you. And we thank you. Wow, Dini, if I add herbs to my diet, will it help with my skin tone and help my skin feel uh, more natural and, 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 and less clammy and stuff? Well, uh, if you add skin, it might would help. Oh, so you're one of those people that uh, thinks you got to have skin to have good skin tone. Yeah, I think that that's a, a good basic step, Hammy. I think one of the most important things for having good skin tone good hair, good nails, and that sort of thing. It's to actually have skin, nail, and hairs. Oh, well. Well, maybe this book will help me anyway. Anyway, people, this is a great book, and you need to pick up a copy of the book today. Thank you. Bye. Ready to order? Click the link below.